Welcome to the show. Yay. Thank you. You two know each other. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. Did we you do. rehearse this? We just yep. had a little breakup. <laughs> we had a little bit of a breakup. We just like haven't seen each other for a while. This is awkward. It's There's, just weird. We didn't just know little... that we were both <laughs> together on the show. Oh. And I just felt like I'd go first, obviously. So. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. You know, he'd like come up like the caboose, but you know, walking yeah. up first. But I'm the fine. I'm in a new relationship and I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm so. having sex with lots of people. <laughs> oh, great. Don't, know, and don't even know what their names. That's it how many people I'm having. Oh my sex. God. I it's going to be fine. Cannot relate. Um, so <laughs> I, need to, I didn't know this about you, but you actually grew up with a, a great actor, Sam Rockwell. Yeah. And in high school, you even dated. We did date for a little while. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Were you as cool then as you are now? I am not cool. Uh, I will never. You're be very cool. cool. So nice. Uh, no, Sam was cool. Sam was super cool mm -hmm. in high school. Sam was like James Dean. Like he's the kind of guy that wore like a full length trench coat in like July. You know, <laughs> he July. was the one at the resort. The three yeah. kids at the resort. That was him. Uh, it was that dude. He's always been that cool. Uh, I was not. I, I mean, I'm six feet tall. I've been this tall since I was like seven. Uh, yeah, thank you. It, it feels good now, but I was Blackzilla in grade school. Okay, and I was just crushing people and breaking toys. Um, and, he, and he was a lot shorter than me. And I don't have this photo, unfortunately. But um, there's like our, the photo of us when we were dating. He has his arm around me, and I'm literally leaning. I'm le like the shape of an A, because I'm just yeah. like, like he's here, and I'm like. <laughs> But also that just like the awkward prom photo, like he's so little. Yeah. Like, yeah. By the way, yeah. no offense to say if he's watching this, like you Sam, know, he's Sam, you're so you're yeah. so awesome, and uh, and all, you seem a lot taller now that you're rich and famous. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. Funny how that works. <laughs> Rob, what about you? Have you had any awkward well, date experiences? Let me see. I mean, I'm married now. No big deal. I no big deal. It's fine. Yeah. You, you moved on so quickly. I just you moved, moved on, on super quickly. Is it even a real relationship? I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I remember when I first moved to LA, um, and this is like a hard town to date in. I mean, you guys know you're all single and weird. Um, but I remember going out on this date with this with this woman, and uh, by the way, edit this out because my wife shouldn't know that I dated anybody besides her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. We'll, we'll take it out. Take edit all this, this out. out. We'll edit it out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> the, the editors, the post team. Hello. <laughs> but um, but I was on a date with this woman, and we were outside at this restaurant, and um, no big deal. I can afford to eat outside. And um, <laughs> and a in like a bee, like there was some bee that started swarming around, and she lost her, like went crazy. She was literally like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Get it off! Like. What I'm it was so weird. And like, I had just moved here, and I was like, people are very dramatic in LA. Yeah. So. And you weren't wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we got married, and now we have a kid. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that out. We will. We will. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, you recently tweeted something so specific that I want to ask you about. You tweeted about eating alone at a restaurant without any cell phone service, and it sounded traumatic. Why was yeah. that? Well, I don't know if you've done that. Like now, if you, if you, you know, if you have to eat by yourself, and sometimes we're all people, you just wind up eating by yourself. I'm not the only one that eats by myself. <laughs> You got it. He's the only one. It's him. But I was in this restaurant, and it was like, uh, they, it was just in a weird part of town where they had no um, cell service. And so I just remember having like a full on like mental break of like, what, what do I, what do I do with my hands? Like, what do I, what, how do I sit? Do I sit like this? Like, do I go like, like I literally just started sweating. And then because you're acting so weird, people start to notice that you are alone. And you're being weird, so it just like compounds. It just got really so. I just left. Like I was. Yeah, like, that was absolutely yeah. the right thing to do. I have to get back on my phone. I, I, I once, once in a restaurant, and there a guy came. He sat down. He ordered a meal, and he just sat there and ate the meal. And I was like, somebody call the cops. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> who, do, who just, who just eats and like stares <laughs> off into the distance like this? He's plotting murder. He's yes. obviously thinking about murder. Yes. Like, you have to. That's. It's not okay. If you yes. think somebody goes sitting and eating. Dude, like, just like cordon off the area. Run, 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 away. run. Yeah. And I was, I got mad at him too. It's I was like, so I'm scary. Just, like, just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> Same with movies. Like when I see someone go to a movie by themselves, I'm like, but I'll go to a movie by myself and I'll bring a bottle of booze in and drink it. Yeah. <laughs>